come here. <laughs> I look so stupid. Wait. You're live. Hello. <laughs> I were packing for Los Angeles. <laughs> I wanted to sit. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, here, bring the chair here. Okay, sit. Have a seat. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in my shoe. Hello, we're packing for Los Angeles today. My voice sounds croaky because I'm sick. Your voice is kind of going away. I mean, it's getting better. <clears throat> Croakiness is going away. Yeah, I got a little bit sick because I work with kids and they have a lot of bacteria. So, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Occupational how did, hazard. What, how'd you get sick? Um, basically, so I work as a Spanish inter medical interpreter and I work at a behavioral facility for children and all the staff basically warned me that everyone gets sick in the first week so there were some kids they were just like it's not everywhere on their noses so who knows what they had but that's not good yeah okay can you we have to go to the other room because i technically already packed and hello cold vision it's good to see you how do i send Heart. Okay. Um, we are going to. I'm. I got the. I got these from Katie Locks, and you're gonna see them coming up in a vlog. Send them to me. They're really cool. This one is falling apart. I've been using it for what five months straight now. Four months, a bit. Um, it's good to see you too. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments. How are you doing? What are your plans this weekend? I want to hear because we're about to head to Los Angeles. We're packing. What are the things we're going to do? Share what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to a jazz club. We're going to a place called Delilah's, right? Delilah. It's not just Delilah. Oh, uh, just Delilah. Okay. She's like. He's not from LA. She's, like, yeah, she's the Los Angeles native. I was only there for like a year. but uh, Hollywood Hills. Coming. Well, coming soon. Yeah. Coming plus, back. we have a bunch of restaurants and eateries we're going to. Wait, so I have some surprises for him. You'll see in the vlog that will come out in, I think, two weeks. And my, what are we, what are we doing? We're going to the Grove. He hasn't been to the Grove, which is crazy. Going yeah. to, I have a whole list here. Let me put it. Yeah, let's just pull it up. Because uh, when I was in LA, I was mostly in Glendale. So. <laughs> That's like not LA. So, dun, dun, dun. Maurice, Isabel. We're going to, a few places. These are just. We were looking at. Oh, this is the old list. This isn't the updated one. Anyway, we're going to. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. We're going to see a bunch of family, friends, and family. And um, we're going to a jazz club. We're going to. We might go to Beverly Hills Hotel. I don't know. But we. I have a whole list of friends and family I want to see. And we're going to try to stay within the, what is it, West Hollywood-ish area. Yeah. So that's where we'll be staying. Um, my husband and I have two kids, so we'll be going to kids' birthday parties and hanging out. Your plans sound like so much fun. Have a great time. Thank you so much. Is it a, so to kids' birthday parties, so how old are they turning? How old are the little ones? I'd love to know because... I need some ideas. Yeah. I had birthday parties growing up with no themes. And I want to do that for my kids. No themes? Where, where they have a theme. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or like something cool. Our birthday was just like, oh, it's. Oh, my friend just texted me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm... that's what my birthdays were like too. It was more like just like a number on a cake type thing, you know? Mine wasn't even like I guess we had cake, but it was yeah, just it was like a go, typical... to, go to a restaurant with real food, like meat yeah. and rice. Well, my family is like typical Midwest, like Midwest, like grocery store cake, you know. It's like, oh, really? Yeah, my parents are pretty simple, but they're great people. I like it. I love a cake. Okay, kids are seven and ten. This is a fun age. Oh, I look forward to it. Tell them I say hello. Tell them, tell the kids at the parties this weekend, happy birthday. And let's go show them. We're gonna 
So then what? Well, we're packing because. Yeah. Wait, make sure, make sure that the angle isn't up my nose. Okay. Wait, don't, don't put yourself out of the frame. Okay. Put yourself in the frame. <laughs> oh my God. It's a mess. It's a literal mess. Okay. This was laundry. <laughs> I don't know why. I just saw this for the first time. They were done, <laughs> they were done last night. So We have... What trips do we have planned? Uh, New Can York. Can you come in the frame? Okay. They're like New York in a month, right? We have LA to tomorrow morning. So what time are we leaving? We're uh, leaving, leaving at like three thirty. Three thirty a.m. Yeah, because we want to get to the airport morning. with enough time to. We we haven't been to Cincinnati Airport, so we don't know exactly what the vibe is at the time. Mm, three. So we have LA, New York, Chicago, Spain, London, Prague. Yeah, Prague's for the tail end, but yeah, London's the main thing. Okay. Share what you're packing and don't show your underwear, please. <laughs> yeah, so we're this summer we're probably gonna go to Spain in the summer or end of end of the summer. Uh, because to avoid the tourists. Um, because a lot of times you go in in August. I I lived in Spain for a long time. I speak very good Spanish because uh, I'm a Spanish stripper. And if you go during in August, there's a ton of tourists. So we're going to go at the end of September, uh, beginning of September, so we can sort of get the more mild weather and the best atmosphere in Spain. And then London, she's the expert on London. So. Yes. Wait, so do you, um, whatchamacallit? I forgot what I was going to ask. I heard, I, I thought of something and then I, now I forgot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be posting some videos on more outfits that I didn't pack because I have a ton of Hello Molly clothes and a few other clothes and I have a collab coming up. What are you doing? What's happening? I stole my shoes. No, you need a duster. You need a duster bag. You don't just put them in the bottom of my toe like that. Okay. Are you coconuts? Okay. I was gonna put a towel down. So. I'm just gonna put a towel down. Here, see a duster bag like this. Oh, okay, okay. I don't. Yeah. Get in there. Wait, hold on. I'm the first. Kind of. Pull up your chest. <laughs> I am. Oh yeah, I've, Germany's great. Um, I've been to Germany personally, but I've been to a lot of the Mediterranean, um, and other parts of Europe. So that's cool. Yeah, Germany's really cool. Wait, what about you? Did you say Germany? Yeah, she. Uh, that person said they're going to Germany. Oh my gosh. So you're working mama. I was wondering if you're working mom. So which part of Germany are you going? It's going to be so fun. Germany is very new. A lot of it was destroyed during World War II. Yeah, and the Cold War. And so everything will be like newer buildings. And some parts more in the countryside typically will be very old buildings. It's beautiful. I used to live in Berlin and I used to live in Rhein-Westphalia. It's or Westphalia, as they say. Um, Really cool place. Depends. What? Wait, I think your bag's too narrow. My shoes are getting scuffed up. I don't know. You want individual bags? That's what I do here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, and and every German town has um has their own sausage and their own beer, and their beer is like a milkshake. <laughs> so try out the cuisine. So. Gamish Patenkirchen. Oh, Kirchen, sorry. I'm going to get back. You can do that. Okay. Let me see. Germany is a diamond, so let me see. Oh, Obe Bayern. Oh, this is a nice area. You're going to like it because it's really pretty. It's, I wonder, so in all in august so it's gonna be like the height of tourism they have yeah. really good orchestra there um good philharmonic good food a lot to see a lot of artwork and um in that area because i have family and friends who have stayed there you are so loud i said i can't even hear myself think yeah <laughs> almost done with that <laughs> okay okay i'll do a proper try on video we have to wake up so early. I still got to work out. 
So, okay, you both seem like you've been together forever. Oh, thank you so much. How long have you been with your husband? I love hearing from you guys because I feel I already feel really close to you. I know we just like, talk quick comments, but it's been years. So I heard that YouTube engagement is like 60% uh, compared to other platforms. And it's the highest engagement of all platforms because you feel like you know the person, which is true. This, I'm thinking for Friday or Saturday, this might be Friday evening. The only problem with this is that when I bend over, that's it. Ain't no helping me. And then I will have a try on video. This is, oh my gosh, thank you for your service. Salute, thank you. What's your MLS? That's so cool. I love veterans. I work with tons of veterans. I was married to a veteran also. Um, I love your outfits. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I have a ton of uh, what I wore this week outfits videos coming out. I have at least four of them and then I'm creating some more. So I just need to splice them together. And um, this is an easy day outfit. So probably for Saturday morning. This is another easy day outfit for another morning. I'm really liking green, light green and sage lately. Sage, sage. Um, this makes me think of Dior Toile. It looks like a, a milkmaid slash apron dress. I can't wait to wear it. I'm gonna take tons of pictures. But the, I noticed the less I pack, the more likely I get more pictures in those outfits. And then, um, because I'm wearing them more often, which makes sense. And then there's this other thing. I think this is more for Lexington. Cause it's it has like this flare that comes out it's really plunge it has a flare and it's a bit more bombastic which is for kentucky kentucky is actually very loud in the way yeah, they dress that's true. compared to like indiana i think indiana's more like sweaters and jeans pumpkin yeah. spice latte well <laughs> that's, that's true really where kentucky is more like closer Especially to the, antebellum the darby fashion right yeah, said, very southern, very we're, English. <coughs> excuse me. We're at that store, and then um, we it was like all pink plaid and dark blue, and like very like genius. It was very loud. Noticeable, yeah. Um, I'm a DA civilian, GS zero. Oh, sorry, Golf Sierra zero five six zero budget analyst. My hobby is a symbol engineer. Oh, so a couple of brainiacs. Thank you. That's so cool. That's so clever. I love engineers. That is so cool. I need to go to you for financial advice. <laughs> I've been looking, we're, I'm trying to save for a house. We're trying to save for a house. Yeah. And we briefly mention it a little bit, a little thing every day. <laughs> engineers are like the creative people of the logical world, the technical world, I believe. Anyway, I'm surrounded by them all day. And um, does that fit? Yeah. That fits. We have matching bags. <laughs> Wait, I need to remove this because this has been bothering me. Do you have a shoulder pillow? No, I but I don't know. Wait, does it fit or does that fit better? You don't have like a carry-on, like a like a travel pillow? No, I either. Backpack? No, I either have like a, a, bit, a really big piece of luggage that's way, it will definitely be too much space. Not sponsored, you guys. Not sponsored, yeah. Where'd you get this? Uh, it's a former employer. So you just snag this from work one day? Yeah, I use it to move my stuff, you know, when I'm uh, single. Uh, I look like I read The New Yorker when I have this and I wear Birkenstocks. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> Which of you packs more for trips? I do. You, yeah. Do you? No, I don't think so. I think your stuff is bigger, so it feels like it's a lot. Yeah, it's just bulkier. I think I'm going to bring just like four dresses. The shoes are taking a lot of space, but. Yeah. If what are you wearing the trainers? Okay. Yeah, I wear the trainers to the airport, so. Do you pack a lot? I typically am pretty much. Pre I, I can be a really light packer, like pack. 
five outfits in one backpack for a two week trip. And I've done that. And I've also backpacked for six months of one carry on. So do you both pack light? I think we both. Yeah, we both pack light. Like, I can. I, okay. I can definitely make a few out, like a few outfits work. So like, I don't need to. I'll just hand wash outfits at the sink sometimes and then blow dry them yeah. or just let them sit. Um, but if I'm going, if I know I'm going to go to a five star hotel and it's really comfy, then I'll definitely. Yeah, of course. I always like if, pack a lot with multiple <clears throat> shoes, but not as much. Yeah, if I know I need like a suit, I'll definitely make room and pack my suit. Yeah, the only reason that I do pack a lot is when I have a lot of liquids. Yeah, when I have like hairspray, oh, hair gel, trousers. hair uh, Even conditioner. Your old boss should like a, a iron or steamer or something. Yeah, yeah I'll text okay. him. I was, I, yeah, he does. Okay, that's good. I have a steamer though, a travel one. Okay. I'm wondering if we should bring because it's kind of big. You're rolling. <laughs> you're rolling. What's wrong with rolling? No, you're such a traveler. That's such a traveler thing. The no, shoes no. are taking most of the space. Yeah, because you have huge feet. Uh, I'm almost size feet for my height. I love this. That should be better. This is magnet, but it's not that strong. It's um, Swedish Special Forces and hang out with it. Oh, hello. Hello, long you see them, sis. What in how did it? What's the dance? What's the nurse? That is a very capitalized name. My Thursday is fabulous. We're packing for Los Angeles. So it actually went by faster than I thought because I was working today. My boss told me, go home. You look awful. You look tired. You, you're usually very fresh faced. And then it was kind of hint that I look awful. <laughs> so she said, I can work from home. I work from home. I actually got a thousand more things done. And then now work is over. Now we're packing. I've technically already packed, but I'm just deciding on some polishing last minute decisions. How's your Thursday going? What are your weekend plans? I'd like to know in the comments below. <laughs> Look at you folding. Okay, dress one, dress two. I need to sew some clothes. Oh, thank you. I did not feel like I looked awesome today, so that is very much appreciated. Okay, in four, three, four. Fem. And then I have some shoes, shoes, shoes. What are you packing? What do you think? Should I take this shirt? You got this? I think that would be nice. Yeah, we got this because it's like thin fabric. It's linen. It's breathable yeah. cotton, 100%. Yeah, I think I'll do this one. I think it'd be good for one of the days in LA. Okay. Going around. Or evening too, because it's LA. Yeah. I think that would actually make it easy. Well, I, I would wear everything light because you can because it's LA. Yeah. Like, we don't have that here. That's true. I like the four seasons. How many languages do you each speak? Which ones? Which are your favorites? You start. You have nine languages. Okay. Possibly I more. Speak, <laughs> I speak six languages fluently, and I could get by in three other languages. So, like, if you just drop me in that country, like Uzbekistan, I could get by in Uzbek, but I'm not fluent in Uzbek. So, but I speak six languages fluently. What are they? Uh, Italian, Portuguese, Korean, Turkish, uh, Korea. I say Korean. Italian, Portuguese, <laughs> Spanish, Korean. Turkish and I know Latin, but I don't use Latin all the time. <laughs> Wait, can you give an example of each each language? Each language. Tell us something different in each language. Okay. Uh, he said, "Is he a genius?" Korean. He actually lived in Korea and I did for a while. Dated a Korean girl. <laughs> That's not why. Study Cor <laughs> He is fluent in each language. What? T tell. Okay, share <laughs> each language. Share a phrase <clears throat> in each. Okay. Uh, estoy muy estoy muy emocionado para viajar este fin de semana. Spanish. Um, so 
Sorry, I'm on the spot now. Um, oh, he lived in Spain for like it did, 5,000 yeah. years. I, I said that. I lived in Spain for a while. So I uh, I told, um, I said, we're going to Spain in the end of September because that way the tour should be gone. Uh, I'm really Korean. So I'm really going to go to Korea. Uh, 항상 가고 싶어요. <laughs> what does that I'm mean? basically saying the same thing over and over again. Oh, okay. Yeah, Say yeah. something different so okay. we can hear it. Okay. Like that's uh, natural to the language. I don't know. To the culture. Okay, so Italian. Oggi che vorrei mangiare? Something about eating? Yeah, what would you like to eat today? Oh, what would you like to eat? Uh, it's just random stuff. It's hard to come up on the spot. Some people just ask you. It's like, well. Well, you have to start a conversation and then yeah. get them to. Yeah. Talk. We also speak Portuguese. So. Thank God I don't follow Portuguese. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you. See, my. I will take you to practice. Your accent is so garbage. Sorry. Yeah, I know. My accent's like Spanish. It's like mixed. It's yeah. like Mishpoa and Spanish. Yeah, that's what everyone tells me. I have friends with Mishpoa, which is from Rio de Janeiro. And Rio, it, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. You so, say it like a Spanish person. So they always tell me, like, my Spanish is like my dominant language. So they always tell me, like, I know the vocabulary and grammar really well, but my accent, it's like. Your accent in Portuguese? Like, yeah. They always is, say, they is, say, they say it's like someone from Lisboa who lived in Spain their entire life. No, it and sounds so, like someone with a cheese grater wiping your ears down. That's not bad. Yeah. It wow. hurts. It's like make up your mind. Which which language do you want to butcher, Spanish or Portuguese? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Sorry, not sorry. Wait, do you think I butcher Spanish? No, you don't. No, it sounds like you're trying to speak in Spanish. I don't know. It's but... fine. Yeah, Spanish comes through. Everyone tells me that. Yeah, I, and it just sounds weird. I'm sure if I spent some time in Brazil or actual time in Portugal, it'd like actually. Probably in Portugal would suit you better. Yeah. Okay, what other language? Uh, Turkish. Can you speak more Turkish? I love how you speak Turkish. Yeah. I only know one Turkish song. It's by Eartha Kitt. She sings in Turkish? Yeah, she's so talented. I think she's speaking like, she sings in like five languages minimum. Yeah, not all Americans know Turkish. Um, or not. Could, and then, that's it. That's all I know. Yeah, it's very formal. But uh... Oh, do you travel a lot? Yeah, we both do. <laughs> she travels more than me though. I used to travel a lot. Not anymore. Now that I have a nine to five. Then I moved to Kentucky, but um, what do I? I've been to over definitely over fifty five zero countries, and then um, <laughs> um, oh Gia, what ethnicity are you? If you feel comfortable saying, are you Filipino? How about let's keep it a mystery, and I want to see what you guys. Well, you guys, will, I want to see your guests and how racist this will get. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. Um, I really don't care. Uh, it will always be a mystery. No, it, it's actually not a mystery. I drop a lot of hints and I've actually said in other interviews and other YouTube channels. Um, I'll give you a hint. My last name is Garcia. So that's a hint. <laughs> um you'll have to you I'm mixed so that's one thing it's that's already that'll already throw you off and yeah I look like a little bit everybody I get everyone everyone thinks I'm uh Persian uh, Persians don't think I'm Persian Italians anywhere I go all over when I travel in other countries they think I'm Italian they all Italians in Italy think I'm Italian, um, especially when they hear my name. They say Gia, but it's Gia in in Portuguese. Hint, hint. So um, Iranian. I can definitely see Persian, Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I get Thai. I get Korean. Thai? I get oh Filipino. Don't I, Korean at all. I don't think so either. But the, I get everything. So I don't know. I've gotten Korean. That's weird. Um. Yeah, and then the languages I speak do not like mix with the looks. Yeah. But, anyway, what other languages? Wait, can you tell me something in Turkish, please? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let me think. Okay. Uh, gel benimle or ne zaman ne zaman yemek istiyor musun? What does that mean? When do you want to eat? 
<laughs> Galbenum le means come with me or follow me. Turkish is a very interesting language because the verb always like if it's an infinite, if it's an imperative, the verb will come at the beginning. But if it's uh, a regular sentence, the verb comes at the end. So Turkish is very interesting. African American. People play Italian. People think of Spanish or Puerto Rican. Are if you live in America and you're full blooded Italian, people will think all sorts of things because not a lot of Americans travel too much. So yeah, or depending on the region, they don't have a lot of uh, exposure to other languages. Especially Midwest, I found that out. Yeah, I found that out too. Also, like they they quote unquote like they speak Spanish, but it's like, do you really speak? Spanish? Do you really? Yeah, I was like people. Someone told me that she studied French, like got her PhD in French or something. Spoke to her in French, or like she did her PhD, but her concentration was in French, but one of them was or something. Okay. Like one of her minor ones. Yeah. And then she spoke to me in not French. She's in, in like the most intrusive american accent yeah it's like je voudrais and i was like oh ah, uh, stop okay it's not even french that's so, um, uh, six three yeah french is a great language it's very interesting how tall is he six three 188 <laughs> centimeters roughly uh spanish or puerto rican that's, those are lovely things to be um yeah, you know, some people, one person didn't even know Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. Confused and I'm right. like, what? Yeah. They, they were like, are Puerto Ricans American citizens? I'm like, yeah, they're American citizens. Puerto, Puerto Rico is really beautiful, too. Never been, but I was wanted to go. And they take U.S. money. It looks like Spain. It's super clean. It's beautiful. People are so kind. Yeah, it's Random strangers. You can talk to all sorts of strangers, and they don't care. Like, it's they'll talk to you like an old friend. Um, what's the hardest language for you? French, good language. Agree. Uh, electric or gas cars? Yeah, this one. <laughs> so guess, yeah. Like Guam, yes. Yeah, or exactly. Saipan. Uh, what's the hardest language for you? Um, Definitely Korean was the hardest at first, just to get used to the Hangul and how everything is said, because Korean has like five different levels of formality. So just learning intricacies. That's well, a lot. It is. But Why? once you get past the the barriers, that barrier, it's like very, the grammar is pretty simple. Um, Turkish is very interesting because the sounds are just entirely different from English once you practice them. But like Uzbek especially, they have like glottal sounds, which you know what those are. Yeah, like in Arabic. <clears throat> yeah, so a lot of, which don't exist in just a lot of Western languages. So, uh, and I had an Uzbek professor who's, who's from, he's like Uzbek, from Uzbekistan. And he would always hammer in the glottal sounds with good reason because like it really helps the flow of the language from UK. So Uzbek, I would say the phonetics were pretty interesting. That have you been to Singapore? Singapore! Oui, bien sûr! I don't know why I'm responding in French. The, you been to Singapore? Yes, I've been to Singapore. They have the largest mall in the world, in the entire world. And they're one of the interesting uh, places that had colonialism but they became richer than their colonizers yeah it's very interesting yeah and so i need to go back changi airport chang chang i don't remember how to pronounce it it was it's been so long so i would definitely love to do a trip we're planning where are we going next year we're going we're doing an asia trip next year so i'd like to go to uh kuala lumpur singapore uh what is it tokyo 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 Korea, I'm fine to go to Seoul again. I mean, I know, I know Seoul. I know. I want to go to Manila. That would be awesome. Yeah, I haven't been to the Philippines. I want to go to Seoul again because I know all the best places in Seoul and like Northern South Korea, like Gyeonggi-do is the province name. So I know like all the best places in Gyeonggi-do, Goyangshi, Hanamshi, like I know all the best places. So I think that'd be fun. But it's like a one or two day trip. We wouldn't have to stay there super long. Oh, I thought you were Swedish. I was talking to you and watched Swedish. No, no worries. Go to the board. I'd love to go to the Philippines too. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Chargal, Northern. It's like heaven. No tourists ever touch it. Um, I was going to go to Cebu Island. Surfing competition. Cebu? Yeah. Why Cause, Cebu? Because uh, of history. <laughs> you, you like Sorry. history. I love history, but partly because of that, but also because I was curious about the language of Bisaya. So, oh, Bisaya. That yeah. There's so many dialects. Ilocana, Bisaya. Yeah. Um, 
Tagalog. Kapampanga. That Tagalog is, is the main, main language. language. Yeah. I know what I'm saying. I had yeah. no idea what you were saying when I first came. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Wait, where, but where say, is that person from? Uh, from the USA. Oh, okay. Awesome. What part of the USA, by the way, are you guys currently residing? Let's go to the Philippines, too. I'd love to go to Singapore because it's like green in the city, which is because they have a law that it has to be a certain amount of greenery offsetting the industrialization in the city. And there, there's this one architect I absolutely love, Alexander Hogrefe. Alex Hogrefe. Hogrefe? I, I'm not sure. I think he's Danish or German or Northern German or Southern Danish. I don't remember. But it's a, a beautiful skyscraper that is wrapped around in essentially green. It's really cool. But it's built into this into the building too. So Bel Air, Maryland. It's north of Baltimore. I want to go to Maryland so bad because I love the Star Spangled Banner. I love the lyrics. And uh what's the name of Fort McHenry? Fort McHenry, yeah. yeah. That's what it's about. Francis Scott Key. British bombarded it and uh supposedly he wrote it when he's watched the bombardment. I hear so many good things about Maryland. Also the whatchamacallit when I was I was reading recently about it too, about their legislatures. Um, I've been to Maryland. I have an aunt from Maryland actually. Oh yeah, I have yeah. a godmother and an uncle. My aunt and uncle. So. What's it like? Um, it's kind of like there's a lot of forest, I think, <gasps> and it. I was there when I was a kid, so I don't remember a lot. But I was there when I went to DC, and we passed through and visited my aunt and uncle. Uh, he works for the USDA, so he works in DC. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I remember you told me. Yeah. What do you agree with him about Maryland? I was a kid, so don't hold me to it. But uh... gun to his head. Oh, wait, I had to do that on YouTube. I don't think. Um, what country you both been to has the best food? Oh, oh, not Denmark. Um, if I'm saying, if I'm talking about meat, I would say Argentina. That is the like el asado and el asado argentino is like really good. It's exquisite. For me, London, or oh, yeah, London's good too. Uh, London, because they have the most Michelin restaurant in the world, Michelin rated, and it's just everybody's there. So it's not like, oh, it's just British food. It's everybody. There's French food, Bulgarian food, true. Middle Eastern food, uh, South American food. Um, but I, I love London. And then I also love New York because they have good street food. So it's like, a dollar ice cream and the ice cream will fill you up for the rest of the day or a oh, giant wow. pretzel that's just really good pretzel dough outside of germany that is local that i don't have to fly to germany so i like new york for street food and just restaurants there also are fantastic because it's got a little bit of everybody um she said not denmark <laughs> no actually the number one restaurant in all of the world was in Denmark for a very long time, Noma. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I used to live in Denmark. So Argentina food, Arge yeah, definitely. Uh, the Danish food is because it's just a lot of salt. They travel the world and they bring back all these spices and then they use just like salt and pepper. <laughs> you know, it, it's yeah. like British food. British food is good. It, like the minor food, it's really comforting. Danish food is, they have good pastries, good cakes. I will give them that. Like this raspberry cake that you have for your birthday, Danish birthday cake. I agree, things are very lush. The, the foliage is beautiful and green. That's the best. I love, yeah. I love, uh, you can have a little bit of city and then you can have a bit of, escape in the nature plugging this in okay and i hear chilean food is not awesome <laughs> honestly i had chilean food and it's very salty like they have a lot of like salted fish salted seafood which i get that's like mostly coastline so i have to work really got but like my experience with chilean food is very salty i've never had chilean food i have no clue i can't judge it but be right back. I'm going to get some toiletries. Yeah. But I mean, they're a very thin country. It's like all coast. But uh... I love that everyone's talking 
talking about traveling. You guys are the best. Where would you guys? <laughs> it's making me hungry too. I'm thinking about food. Where would you guys? Uh, where do you guys find the best food? I'd love to know in the comments because I could always use food advice. I love food from everywhere. The only thing I will not eat is raisins. Same. Is that is that proper grammar? Yeah. The only thing I will not eat is raisins. raisins uh, the is only thing I'll eat are raisins. Are raisins? Yeah. Are raisins? Yeah. Okay. Tech stack from Calpac that rhymes. Raisins are good. Ra <laughs> <coughs> raisins belong in the garbage. It's grapes are already good. Why do you gotta make them? Why do you gotta fix what's not broken? Um that's what my boss said, so salty and plain. Oh that's really no. funny. Local Panda Express. Oh, you are! I love Panda Express. I really? used to go there when I was a teenager after. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now, my food for that was uh, was always just uh... salami from the packet, just like this, watching a documentary. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was usually. Ah, I would always get Korean food after that. Oh, really? Yeah. Why, were you in Korea? No, you can't. It's illegal. It's, it's like very illegal. super illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do yeah. it in the US and then you land there, they can arrest you, I heard. Yeah. Korea, no, Korean, any drugs are illegal. Extremely illegal. I shouldn't tell us YouTube, sorry. Um, which camera should I bring? This one's cool. This one is very smooth. It's kind of bulky. This one. Um, this one I can film instantly. So maybe this one fits in my bag better. Never had, you've never had sushi. Sushi's great. You've never had sushi. Something interesting. In Japan, slurp the heck out of your food. Eat sushi with your hands. Wash your hands first, obviously. And um, never stick your chopsticks up. Yes, that's bad luck. Yeah. Because they do it at funeral. funeral. Um, Paying respects to the dead. Exactly. Um, But, yeah. They just don't that don't do that in any Asian country. And don't, don't, don't put yeah. your chopsticks like this in any Asian country. Don't mix. The wasabi with the soy soy sauce. Yes. Because yes. it's all about separation of flavors. Um, you can slurp. That's like compliments to the chef. You don't have to slurp, but doing that is like showing the chef it's really good. Yes. If especially if it's a small place. If it's a restaurant, you don't have to do it. Obviously. Um, have, a, have a good time. Jerry kind of has certain etiquette. Totally. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay, what do I bring? Toothbrush or tongue, tongue, brush there. tongue brush, toothbrush with the cases. Toothpaste, Marvis, obviously, because I don't think I'm bringing this shampoo and conditioner. This is Sol de Janeiro. Uh, do I say, do I say it in English? Like Sol, Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro. Yeah, Rio Sun. I don't know how to say it in English. Um, moisturizer from herbivore and then you like marvis too i used to smoke cigarettes this is really bad don't try it don't don't smoke it's not good for you um i used to smoke cigarettes and i found out that marvis is good if you smoke cigarettes so and also don't use mouthwash with alcohol in it because it gives you mouth cancer not good the jasmine flower is like actual jasmine flower. And I also, don't they have like a rhubarb flavor? Their flavors are so concentrated. I absolutely love that. I'm going to scope out some jasmine flower. It's kind of hard to find because it's always either sold out or I, I guess it's not sold as much here because it's so obscure. They have the best flavors. Whatever the flavor they say, you're guaranteed to taste that flavor. And it's not a guessing game. It's not like wine where you're like, oh, I think it's oaky or something. Uh Herbivore, herbivore. Is this locked? Guess I'm gonna find out. Um, and then, should I bring sunscreen? We're not even gonna be out that much. Any tips on how to get 1,000 plus subs? Be consistent. And for me personally, I, whatchamacall? I was consistent, <laughs> that was one thing. Talk to everyone. Always talk to everyone in the comments. Leave a call to action. So always tell them to do something at the end or in the beginning. Like say, give this a like, subscribe, click the bell, comment. Also, um, what else? Uh, if you if you know anything about SEO, try SEO. So see what's trending. Do something relevant to the news. 
also make your thumbnails, your picture of you face on, smiling, preferably if you don't have facial hair. If it's a man, it actually gets more clicks. And um, so facial hair? Yeah, if you're if you're looking straight at the camera and you're not smiling, that gets less clicks than someone who's actually smiling. I work in marketing, so we actually study this. Pure. And hmm? pure. Well, fewer clicks. Thank you. Sorry. My grammar is coconut. It's so bad. And then he corrects me and it helps me because then I sound more polished at work or everywhere I go. Of course. I'm, I'm going to try to think of more tips too as we go on this. It took me five ever to get a thousand and also do more lives because apparently people just like being in real time and engaging. It's, I think that's also good. Just connect with whomever is watching because they're the ones watching <laughs> they want to see more of you <laughs> why not okay i have to put this in an actual you have a toiletry bag i was gonna get you one that's like, have one. one that is um is this timberland uh, i think so yeah it was oh. a gift oh it was <clears throat> yeah it was a gift from my parents there. like six years ago <laughs> really it's a nice uh it's denim. It's easy to wash. I was gonna get you a leather one with your name on it. Oh, that'd be like lovely. Yeah. But this is easy to wash. Now I'm like, this is better. Well, okay. Okay. And we're almost on 41 minutes. What am I bringing? Okay, toiletries. I have a whole thing of makeup. Whole thing of makeup. Hair. Oh, hair curler. Should I do my hair before the trip? No. We're gonna get up at like three AM, but I mean. Okay. Yeah, I can land, do my hair when. I mean, I'm do you think we have time? Yeah, because we land at what eight o'clock, and then we probably get to Europe was around almost nine, depending on traffic. So. Nine, maybe ten, because it's LA. Yeah. <laughs> it's LA traffic. Oh my god! I I forgot. I'm not used to. LA. I probably won't be used to LA traffic anymore. I was used to it when I was living there, but like now, I'll be like. Because like my parents will complain about traffic in Indiana, and I'm like. It's like you're nothing. crazy. Yeah, it's like nothing. <laughs> you're like, come on. Um, how is your? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. I'm seven sessions in with my. Oh, <gasps> congratulations! Seven sessions in. I am ten sessions in, and it's almost gone. I found a place recently of a tattoo removal place locally in Lexington, Kentucky. I will mention the place. I'll also, uh make videos about it of course and then also i need to schedule with them it's already looking faint so this is 10 sessions and this was gray wash and black ink and then there's some purple and red there i don't know if that helps they say that red and purples are the hardest to get out so just heads up if you have other colors black is the easiest especially the older it is the, the easier it is to remove from what i heard and from the text that told me what laser do you know what laser and uh what clinic you're going to because uh, just in case other people are watching this and they might be in your area in Maryland. Also, what else? Um, I'm also looking for an IPL place here. IPL is extortionate here. I'm going to go to LA and there's so much competition for med spas. So the med spas are like $70 to get IPL. And then here it's three hundred dollars, and they they have a laser, and they're essentially renting it out for like two minutes, and that's what they're doing. So it irks me, but yeah, it's essentially a similar laser that they're using to disperse the color, all the pigment in your skin when they're using it. I use IPL for my face, and then um, same for the which we call for the tattoo, and then it's much more severe though. They obviously change the settings to be higher. Um, a I don't even get people notice, but then every now and again, someone will say, what's that? I'm a millennial. He's Gen Z. So he's four years younger than me. You're four years, right? Uh, Three. Well, four depending on the calendar date, but yeah. Wait. <clears throat> yeah, we're six months apart. Yes. I'm August. Three, you're February. Three years and six months. Yes. Are you millennials? I'm a millennial. I'm literally on the cusp of millennial to gen z so i'm 95 you're 98 yes 98 yeah i was already three when he was born <gasps> oh i should look up Yuri. also pico sure and pico way lasers i heard pico lasers are bomb.com 
Thank you for that, by the way. Palm that one. How long have you known each other? We've known each other. Like, how long have we known each other total? Or we got married? We knew each other 12 days, got married. We met, got married 12 days later. Now, how long has it been? A um, it's been a bit over a month. But like a month and three days. A month and three days. Well, I moved in on March 11th. What's today? 18th. So a month and a week. We've known each other for a month and a week, and now we're married. We've been married for like a um, month. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married for a month. That's that's a red flag. It's a red flag. Let's see how long this all lasts. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. I know. I can tell you're kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I look so tired and and I can, I was dressed nice for work today. Here, let me show you my outfit today. I took some screenshots for um, LTK. <laughs> yeah, we're crazy like that. Everyone was telling us all sorts of things. So this was my outfit earlier. It was actually cute, I promise you. And then um, I changed, I came home and I thought I'm gonna be comfortable, I'm gonna work out. So, uh, Nilia, when, when you know you've met the one, why wait? I highly agree, I agree. Um, lots of good news all around. He's polishing his shoes right now. <laughs> here, you, you, you go here in the video. I, I feel like I need to pack more things because you're, I feel like you're constantly, are you taking stuff out and then putting it back in? I'm to, I just realized I'm, you're crazy. I'm just trying to get it to fit properly. Overthinker level 100. Look, these are like white marks. What about you? I want to know, when you met someone, were you, when you know, you know, you know? You know that, like, when you know, you know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so when you got married, or with your partner, your loved one. Did you know right away? That's an interesting question because I know a lot of people who say give it time, which is smart, but we're also both a little crazy, very crazy. I got so many, so many people telling me, Gia, it's a marriage of convenience. Don't do it. And I thought, what? Like, yeah, we're both know. American. Yeah, I don't know who, who would be more convenient. The convenience would fall on. We both like have this. nothing and we're both American. What is the convenience? And we both live in boring states too. Like, like, just... Sorry, I'm screaming. It took me about two months. He was the guy for me. Two months is pretty, 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 pretty fast. That's and I'm that's fast even for me. Like the I'm telling you. Yeah, he's from Indiana. I was born in Indiana, but I lived a he lot lived of places Spain. growing up. Yeah. And then I lived on four continents, but I'm from California and now I live in Kentucky where nobody wants to live, which I like. So people can't bother me. So um we love each other. That's all that matters. Oh I I agree. I agree, yeah. I agree. Because like when you love someone, you'll figure out anything how to make it work. You'll reverse engineer, like, okay, how do we get to the moon? You want to go to the moon? Okay, let's do this. Let's make it work. So you you go outside yourself, think about, you don't even think about your limits, in my opinion, anyway, my experience. Uh, I don't even know where to find a guy to begin with. Do you go to church? I've been getting asked a lot of dating advice my entire life, and I don't know why, because <laughs> I, I'm not, like, good at dating. Um, I'm, I'm a serial monogamer. You're a dater. I was when I was in uni. I was, but not anymore. I'm like I was like when I was. 21. Well, you're married now. No, I meant uh, so I was in not a pretty serious dinner. relationship when I was like 18, and then when I was like 21, I for about a few years I dated a little bit, but like, but yeah, so, but I wasn't like crazy or anything. <laughs> yeah, you're normal. It might oh, I, what I call normal. People don't like using normal, but I use normal because it's normal. Okay, so what I would do is. The physics department. <laughs> no, true. Wait, what is the true? Thing? It depends. It depends. Oh, what the it, physics department. Yeah, what it is that you want. Yeah, so, that's like, true. If you want a chef, go to cooking class. Find yeah, a hot yeah, yeah. cooking teacher. No, I'm just kidding. Not kidding that much, but 
uh, if you go to church, go to church. You'll definitely find someone awesome there. Or you can go to different <clears throat> wards or parishes or different. Um, I I love nerds. I married a nerd. Okay, no, I'm not entirely a nerd. Like you're a nerd. If you say that you're a nerd, people who aren't nerds will be like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Or they'll be like, yeah, I'm proud to be a nerd. I don't know. Depends on the nerd. <laughs> I know this. Like, oh, okay. So I'm at university student. I feel like my best bet is hanging around the medical faculty because I'm a head student. Sauvage, quel sauvage. Kidding, but not kidding. So in Russian, they say vishutki means some tr- there's some truth in the joke. So I've began using Bumble, but no luck. I met him on Bumble. So uh, tell people right away what you want. So yeah, don't don't just like say the don't just say this weird catchphrase you see on the internet or something. Cause like like let's see where this goes. Especially, <laughs> like especially on like the guys end, it's like you know you want something to actually work with when you're talking to somebody. So it's like. Okay. It's good to actually know what you want. I'll tell you my strategy. It works every single time. I work in marketing. I know who to ach- whom to attract. Yeah. Whom, whom is the object? A, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I do. Um, bubble. Was it awkward? No. Um, for me, it wasn't because I said on my profile. First off, I tell yeah, you exactly yeah, what exactly. I want. I said I want. I want to be married. I want to be surrounded by children, and I want to make a man happy forever. I don't believe in di- splitting up or I don't know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so like yeah. I'm very traditional. So I said I'm traditional. That's what I want. And you all also these... said you also em- emphasize you were you're conservative too right away. Oh which yeah, is, which is fine. I'm just saying my politics. Yeah, because like I or mean, just yeah. like put your values out there. Yeah, so exactly, like if you're Christian, exactly. say I'm Christian. I'm yeah, for a Christian yeah, guy. Yeah, don't don't feel like you have to hide that. Just if, say it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, and so, like, he called me right away. I said, text me. I went off this app, and he called me. He didn't even text. He texted, but then he's like, can I call you? He said, and he called me, and then I said, I hate your voice. So I'm just- <laughs> no, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, worries. no, but say exactly what you want. Be up front right away so it cuts down on time because then you'll filter out the losers right yeah. away. Figure out what you want. I guess that's <clears throat> step zero. So go nil with... Find out what you want. Do you want to be married? Do you want to have kids? Yeah. Tell people, I want to be married. I want to have kids. I want to be married within two years or something. Like, I want to date you for a year, get engaged by this time, and get married by this time. If 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 we if we already know we like each other. I'm going to make a whole video on this because I keep getting asked this. Um, tomorrow. There are people out There are so many guys out there who are dying to get married and have children. So don't underestimate the power of being honest because you'll attract the right people. And like he gets mad at me because okay, I'm not gonna mention that. No, no, no. <laughs> Why do I get mad at you? Uh, wait, let me see. Where are you going to start a channel for conservatives? Did I hallucinate that? No, you did not hallucinate that. I have not had time to sit down and scratch my head recently, and I'm it. the The trip is literally in what nine hours, a few yeah. hours, and like eight hours. I haven't even packed. Like, I've somewhat packed loosely, but I know I'm going to forget something. I'm going to... This Fakakti trip. Oh, my gosh. So, the, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to start a conservative channel. I was also wondering, what would you guys like to see? I was also thinking of doing more videos where I react to etiquette and, like, some political... I have some really deep political videos some i think are a little too highbrow that's the problem i go into politics really deep and i don't know if an audience would be into that i think they would get bored unless they're 60 and retired (laughs) or like him or and then um but i should also do a mix of like videos and just see what happens really yeah i don't have politics videos up yet but i will post them I'm I'm also kind of scared because uh I'm also kind of scared because what am I call uh I'm I know I'm going to get slammed cuz I I would post the sweetest most wholesome videos and people would tear me apart on YouTube where it's like here's how to stay positive during surgery or here's how to how to how to do something selfless there's a video where I said 
how to like a, a morning routine, like a selfless morning routine. And someone slammed me. I said, you should put other people first and you'll feel amazing. You'll feel super fulfilled. Someone said, you should have put your other people first. That's, that's, uh, you need to practice self-love. And it's like so extreme one way or the other. And I wasn't being that's super true. extreme. It was yeah. pretty moderate, but people will slam me for absolutely anything. So um, politics can be so polarizing, but I like etiquette and reaching to maybe pop culture. Sorry, I can't spell it in English. No worries. Uh, I definitely will post more etiquette. I promise. There are so many good media things I want to comment on that would make incredible etiquette videos that I think everybody would learn from easily. And then, like you talk about Trump and Biden. Oh, I have a separate a separate channel for that, not on this channel. So there's no politics on this channel whatsoever because that's very intense for some people. And I totally get that. Uh, people are jerks sometimes. That is true. Yes. Uh, I'm personally not conservative, but I don't have anything against you posting conservative videos. I like listening to other people's views. So do I. I absolutely love listening to all sorts of media, all sorts of views, all sorts of perspectives. And I don't care whatever political... Uh, stand someone has because I grew up in a really mixed family where my dad was a socialist and he was he was actually very communistic he was very socially conservative and then very socialistic in nature and in in values incredible person and then my stepmom was very 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 right wing and then I grew up and I found out oh she's kind of moderate <laughs> She would kind of vote for whomever she thought was handsome, essentially, <laughs> which was crazy. And then my brother, who's right above me, super, super left-wing guy. He's a good guy. And I really don't have anything against any side. Um, <coughs> let's see. Watch MSNBC, Fox, and can watch all of them. Wow. Props. Um, I'm pretty conservative. Not, oh, I read that. Oh, sorry, I am getting. If there, if anyone here is interested in politics, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I'm not trying to make this a, a political video at all. And I'm wondering which heels should I bring? I need to do an April Faves video. These are Steve Madden um, Priya sandals, the clear ones. Everyone is saying, Gia, don't do it. Don't do clear sandals because you look like something inappropriate for every day <laughs> so <laughs> they make your legs look like they go for miles um uh are you both burnt out from packing it we probably should wrap it up yeah we probably should my throat my throat doesn't hurt it just sounds scratchy but i just want to end on this final note wait i, I need to do some try on videos because i've been lacking on the try on hauls Husband, can you hold this? Oh wait, I can. Here, I can put this on the. Okay, I want to show you my shoes because they're so chic. Your butt is your butt is in the frame as I just your. Please stand here. I want to see how tall they are. Okay. Super cute. Wow, you're more than a foot taller than me. Yeah, I'm 6'3". You're not even in the frame. I'm barely in the frame. Like, now I'm taller than you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you. I have, what, four videos already coming out. So have a wonderful weekend. Ciao.